ladders. Yes, that'll do. We can do it. That won't do. So close. So close. No. I can do it. Everything's okay. Everything is absolutely fine. We, we've nearly got it. 30 more seconds. Just 30 more seconds. Come on. It's right there. It's right there. Ah! Okay, right. Good news and bad news, guys. We've nailed it. Bad news. It's now time to go and actually defeat the Ender Dragon because... Uh, we're, we're idiots. Right, this time round, I'm going to do... I don't think potions of fire resistance will work, but I might as well use them because I've got them there. We need invisibility. Um, I'm also going to go for, for swiftness. I think there's everything I need. Have I got everything? What, what's here? We've got... We've got... Regeneration. Swiftness. Drinking it. We've got invisibility. Drinking it. We've got fire resistance. Who cares? I'm drinking it. Right, and then we've got... We've got the swiftness. Uh, regeneration. Regeneration. Fire resistance. Regeneration. Have we got one more? Oh no, I haven't got any more. That's it, guys. I don't think we've got any cues for more music, but um, I'm gonna go kill it anyway. Where are you, dragon? I'm gonna come kill you now. Because there's nowhere for you to hide anymore. Is there? Yeah, come on. You regen, you land, and you regen. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, let's do this thing. You have no escape anymore, do you, Mr. Dragon? No, you don't. There's nowhere for you to hide apart from you firing fireballs at me. But that's okay. Let's do this thing. We've got swiftness going on. We've got a, uh, we've got a dragon thing. Go on, bro. I know you're gonna land. Hey, oh, I see you. No, 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 dude. I'm firing you. You are glitching. There's a cheeky little glitch you have there, dragon. There we go. That's better. More like it. You know, you know. Someone, someone once told me. Don't ever go to the end. You are not ready. I would like to prove you all wrong. I'm so ready. I don't oh, I'm not ready! No! I'm not ready. We're fine. We've got swiftness on the go. We need to wait for him to land again. And he's just about to. Here we go. Come on, Dragon. Fire flames me if you want. Ow! Okay, yeah, you can burn. Come on. You want to die? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna die? Is that what you just told me? Sorry, bro. I'm hitting you while you're in the air. Now I'm just chilling, to be honest. I can stay here for as long as I want. What I thought. You know what your little end, end of men buddies have no doing. You know what I'm doing? Killing you. What do you think that flame's doing, dude? Absolutely nothing. It's doing absolutely nothing, bro. Think it's doing a good job? Because it's not. Trust me doing an awful job. You think you can fly, my little, my pretty? Oh, my pretty! <laughs> you're an idiot. Oh, you're back again. You're back in some more fun. How much more fun do you want? A couple of more hits. You think you can burn me, Ender Dragon? You think you can burn me? Yeah, well, you ready? Ah! He's nearly down. He's down for it. He's nearly down. Come on! He's down! He's down! We've done it! We have killed the Ender Dragon! <laughs> oh, you thought you could defeat me! You thought you could defeat me! Lewis, me, you thought you could defeat the almighty Lewis, the one and all, the one, the only, the player, no. You know what I've got to do now, guys, is I've got to take this stone as my prize. And then I need to make a, make a place for it, because you know what, that's probably the best idea. Um, and then I need to put a piston there, and we're going to take it. It's going to be the best day of my life. And then I'm going to jump in. 
We're gonna go home. It's probably the best place actually to get Ender Eyes as well, because there's so many, so many birdies here. Could you imagine if I died? Just like for looking at one. I cover this up. Here we go. Sticky piston. A go go. A lever. A go go. A go go. Ender egg is a go go. Grab the last piece of experience that we need. Thank you all for having me. It's been a beautiful day. Let me just take all this home. Why not? We don't need it anymore, do we? Thank you, Endermen. I love you all. I kind of feel like I should kill a few of you just so I can get some resources for home. Um, and I don't, but I don't think that works. I feel like if I look at you all, you're going to come kill me. No. Could have looked at all of you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I see the player you mean. It's Earth. Yes. Take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we're part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. Even on hardcore. Is reading our thoughts as, as though we were the words on a screen. This is how it chooses to imagine many things. When it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface. Very flexible. And less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? The player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created and it dreamed it destroyed, it dreamed it hunted, and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha! <laughs> the original interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others. The sculpt, a true world in a fold of the FZAY weird dot. Thing it created some some ailing language in the us the world. It can I read that for it. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. That it must achieve in the long dream of a life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts. It hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under the black sun. It takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes, when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them. They are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them all their importance to the universe. Sometimes, when they have not made a true connection in a while, I want to help them to speak the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them the world you take for truth is merely Weird alien language and weird alien language. I wish to tell them that they are weird alien language in the weird alien language. They see so little of reality in their long dream. And yet, they play the game. But it would be easy to tell them. Too strong for this dream to tell them how to live is to prevent them living. I will not tell them the player had to live. The player is growing restless. 
I will tell the player a story. But not the truth. No. A story that contains the truth safely. In a cage of words. Not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes! Player. Dot dot dot. Use its name. <clears throat> My name's Lewis, by the way. <clears throat> it's Earth. I said Lewis. It's Earth. Player of games. Good. Take a breath. Now. Take another. Feel the air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes! Move your fingers. Have a body again, under gravity, in air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are, your body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Oh, sorry. Who are you? Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain, father, son, mother, moon, ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man, then gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leopards, quarks, the words, leptin, sorry, quarks, the words change. We do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now, through your skin and your eyes, and why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on you? To see you, player, to know you, and to be known, I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, it's a... Ooh, me! Sometimes it thought itself human. On the thin crust of a spinning globe of molten rock, the ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330 thousand times more massive than it. They were so far apart that light took eight minutes to cross the gap. The light was information from a star, and it could burn your skin from 150 million kilometers away. Sometimes the player dreamed it was a miner on the surface of the world that was flat and infinite. The sun was a square of white. The days were short. There was much to do, and death was a separate inconvenience. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in the story. Sometimes the player dreamed it was other things, in other places. Sometimes these dreams were disturbing, sometimes very beautiful, indeed. Sometimes the player woke from a dream into another, then woke from that into a third. Sometimes the player dreamed it watched worlds on a screen. Let's go back. The atoms of the player were scattered in the grass, in the rivers, in the air, in the ground. A woman gathered these atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body into the long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made nothing but built and love. You are the player, the story, the program, the human made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. The seven billion 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 atoms of the player's body were created. Long before this game, in the heart of a star. So the player too is information from a star. And the player moves through a story which is a forest of information planted by a man called Julian on a flat, infinite world created by a man called Marcus that exists inside a small, private world created by a player who inhabits a universe created by... Shush! Sometimes the player created a small, private world that was soft and warm and simple, sometimes hard and cold and complicated. Sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head, flecks of energy moving through vast, empty spaces. Sometimes it called those flecks electrons and protons. 
Sometimes it called them planets and stars. Sometimes it believed it was in a universe that was made of energy, that was made of offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code. Sometimes it believed it was playing a game. Sometimes it believed it was reading words on a screen. You are the player, reading words. Shush! Sometimes the player reads lines of code on the screen, decode them in words, decoded words into meaning, decoded meanings into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the player started to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was not alive. It was alive. Those thousands of deaths had not been real. The player was alive. You. You are alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of the summer trees. And sometimes the player believed that the universe had spoken to it through the light and fell from the crisp night sky of winter, where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eye might be a star a million times as massive as the sun, boiling its planets to plasma in order to be visible for a moment to the player, walking home as far as the side of the universe, suddenly smelling food almost at the familiar door, about to dream again. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the zeros and ones, through the electrons of the world, through the scrolling words and the screen at the end of the dream. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said, you are stronger than you know. And the universe said, you are the delight. The daylight, not the, and, and delightful, you know, who knows. And the universe said, you are the night. And the universe said, the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said, the light you seek is within you. And the universe said, you are not alone. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, you are the universe tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the game was over. And the player woke up from the dream. And the player began a new dream. And the player dreamed again, dreamed better. And the player was the universe. And the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. Guys, it wasn't a dream. It wasn't a dream. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed these uh, these episodes. Um, apparently, I didn't die, which means I'm going to be back tomorrow where we play more Minecraft. Yes! Guys, I love you all. Have a lovely one. Um, I hope you did enjoy that. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you then. What a superb day. What an amazing day. Nice. See you later. Bye-bye.